Hello. I do not have a camera so I will use some pictures and clips to present assignment. For the record, this voiceover was recorded in the Google website. The topic I have chosen is, type and usage of important studio cables. In this case, I will try to explain to you how does a balanced cable works. Balanced cables are known for having two conductors and rejecting noise. The two conductors could be called by hot and cold signals. So, how does it work? Imagine that the cable we are using passes nearby electrical equipment. It could be an electric transformer for example. Electrical transformers create electromagnetic fields around them, and those fields usually insert noises to the signals of cables nearby. Sometimes the ground shield in those cables is not enough to cancel all the noise. When that happens, is when balanced cables are very useful. Balanced cables have two conductors and the same signal travels through both. However, the second conductor, a cold conductor if you prefer, transfers an inverted copy of the original signal that travels in the hotter first conductor. So, imagine that this cable passes by an electrical transformer. The electromagnetic field creates a noise in the signal. The noise actuates in the same direction for both conductors. Now, the signal with noise gets to the balanced input of equipment, such as a preamp or an audio interface. In the input of this equipment, the cold signal is inverted again so it mashes the original signal. Notice that by doing this the noise that was in the same direction, is now inverted in one of the signals. Then, the equipment will blend the two signals and we can see that by adding both. They are completely equal except the noise. Now, it's a matter of applying simple mathematic calculations. This image is not very accurate. The values and the positions are not 100% correct. It is just for helping to understand. Now let's add both noises. So, 1 plus minus 1 is 0. 3.5 plus minus 3.5 is 0. We can see that by adding inverted values, they cancel each other. So the noise is now 0 decibels. It cancels. It disappears. Let's see it again. The inverted signal is inverted again. Both signals are added. The inverted noises of both conductors are added too. Now, the signal maintains his form, and the noises cancel each other. Now we have a good quality and clean signal. Balanced cables are very useful in studio and live productions. They make our jobs easier and add more quality to it, especially in live productions, where the stage could have tons of different kind of equipments and cables. Noises appear from everywhere, so, using only unbalanced cables may bring lots of issues for us. That's why microphones use this kind of technology to send signals. The only thing that dictates if the signal is balanced or not is the equipment of both ends of the cable. They must be able to send and receive this kind of signal. This kind of cables are very useful for long runs. It doesn't matter how long is the cable, it will reject noise much more than a normal single conductor unbalanced cable. I hope I was clear and that you have enjoyed this video assignment for the course. Sorry for the poor naturality of the video, I'll try to make a better one for the next time. By the way, this British accent makes it very intellectual. LOL. Thanks for watching.